welcome back to my channel um today we went to the dollar tree we are big dollar tree lovers <laughs> around here and um i really like going for a lot of different things but um every time we're there i check out their books section and i usually end up with a lot of books and today was a pretty good haul for a lot of books so I am going to show you what I came home with most of them are for Jasper but I just thought a lot of them were really cute and neat and I love that they carry a lot of um bible based books and a lot about like um God and different things like that and so yeah we're just gonna get right into it First, I have some workbooks. They're not, um, they don't have anything to do with any of the other books, but, um, I thought they were pretty neat, and so I grabbed them. There are four for kindergarten level, and then four that are first grade level. So, the first one is letters. It kind of just looks like that on the inside. It goes through each letter, uppercase and lowercase. And then at the back, there's they write the letter for the pictures. And a few other game things. But yeah, just a dollar. And um, I don't know what kit I'm going to use them for. And I don't know really... Um, I'll probably keep them to make copies out of because it's only a dollar and um, I can just make copies and then if I'm done with it or we get bored of it or something, it's something pretty um, easy to pass on to someone else because it was cheap and, um, you know, um, moms that are just starting out with homeschool and stuff might be um, not willing to like pay so much for books and stuff so I like to just make copies out of things so that when I'm done homeschooling I can pass them along and things like that and then there's a numbers one for kindergarten and it kind of has the same look really colorful and pretty and it goes 1 to 20 it's cute one about shapes and colors it does the colors in the front and then it has a review and then it does shapes in the back And this one is first words. I really like this one and I might actually use this with Noah and Kelsey, but it just gives like a couple words, fill in the blanks at the bottom, and a little coloring thing over here. It has a lot of words, so there's two per page. and 60 pages it's pretty cool Not first words and then this is a first grade one it's an edition book the thing I like about these is it has a lot of different edition problems but it also does simple word problems and then there's some that are like a little bit more advanced. And that's the same with the subtraction. Subtraction. Cute little thing. And then there was a phonics one. Which has all kinds of stuff in it. Goes through the vowels, vowel teams, consonant combinations, different letters. It's 
just pretty cool to find stuff like this at the Dollar Tree. And the last one is a spelling. <laughs> a spelling. And it gives a list of spelling words and then stuff to do with those words. And that's on the card. And that is 58 sets of spelling words. So it's a pretty good size for a dollar. Looks like that. So that was $8 for all of those at the Dollar Tree. So I was pretty excited about those. Even though we have a lot of workbooks and stuff, those look different and they were colorful and like I said, they're only a dollar and if I make copies out of them, I can pass them on in the future to someone else. So next I'm gonna start with the ones I found for Aiden and the girls. I found Aiden this cool dragons book um, from the movie uh, How to Train Your Dragon. And it's like a full book. So that was cool. And I also found him this Kung Fu Panda Legends of Awesomeness. And it's the same thing. Big book, or not a big book, but lots of words on each page. So, pretty long story. I also got him um, these level readers. There's two level ones and two level twos. Um, they each have three Bible stories in them. This one's Noah's Ark. I never remember how to say this. Gideon's, Gideon's battle? Gideon? I don't know. <laughs> Queen Esther, John the Baptist, the prodigal son, and Jesus and the children. Um, he probably couldn't read these on his own. I mean, he could read most of the smaller words, but um, they look like this on most pages but I would still have to help him with these but I just thought they were cool so those are the two level one and the level twos is the, Mo the story of Moses Joshua and the wall the story of Samson which is Aiden's favorite Aiden really loves the story of Samson um, Joseph's story Jonah and the big fish and the fiery furnace they look like that. And these look about the same as the um, the level one. They just maybe have a few more words and bigger words in them. But they're pretty cute. So got those. And then these I picked out more for the girls, but um, Aiden could probably read this one. Olivia builds a house. It's a level one reader. Easy sight words and words to sound out. And it pretty much, he could probably, I mean with like names of people, he probably wouldn't be able to read them, but um, he could probably read this. So there's that. The girls would probably like that more than him though. Um, and then I got some, the rest are all like board books. So got this princess, wintry days, and it just talks about the princesses. Not very many words on there. We got a Christmas ball. Um, jingle wheels from cars. Cute. 
and a Toy Story Snow Day book. And then I found this Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer book. And then this Frozen Best Friends book. So those are cute. And then the rest are pretty much for Jasper. <laughs> um, but... I found a few sets of books, so I was pretty excited because usually when I go in there, which it was pretty destroyed this time too, but it's usually destroyed and all over the place and you can't really find the sets. Um, but I found a lot of the sets. These are um, a child's book of prayers set. So there's four in the set. And this one is Dear God, I Pray. Praise you, dear God. God loves me. Dear God, amen. And they're just like board books inside. And it just has different prayers inside of them. Oh, this one has verses. Mommy. Hello, Ezra. Throw it away. Can I eat it? I guess. That's pretty cool. This one has verses about um, Wait, mommy, who are you? God's love. Mommy, who are you going to send it to? I'm going to put it on YouTube. So say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Say we love reading. We love reading. We read like eight bedtime stories. <laughs> okay, go to bed. Now? Now, please. As. Sorry about that. Ezra is my one child who hates bedtime. But anyways, these are the four in that set. The A Child's Book of Prayer set. This set is um, God made, like God made, I don't know, it doesn't really have a name for the set, but it's God made animals, God made the earth, God made colors, and God made the seasons. And that was all four of those in the set. And these are pretty simple. Oh, it's stuck. Just cute books. And those are cute. This one, this set is the sock heads set. Um, they look like kind of like the sock monkey um, little animal things. Uh, and there was actually one that I couldn't find. It was a princess one, but we got all the other ones. Animals, dinosaurs, and monsters. And they're pretty cute. So I got those. Um, these. I think this is the last set and then the last ones are this is the last set that I found and then the other ones are random but um we got Noah's Ark God loves me Joshua and the whale and they're cute board books Sorry, I had to switch cameras, but um, I think we were on this one. Just 
cute pictures. And then this one. Those are cute. And then the rest is just a few random ones that I found. This one is Thank You God. I liked this one because it was like black for the background and like the colors. I don't know. <laughs> I just liked it. That one's Thank You God. This one is Daniel and the Lion's Den. Well, Daniel and the Lion's. This one is A Day in the Ocean. This one is Monster Machines. And this one is at the zoo, Sesame Street Beginnings. Which we have a few of these already, but we don't have this one. And we also have a few of these ones. And this one is Murphy's First Book of Words. So yeah, that wasn't Murphy's, it was Murray's. <laughs> I'm a little bit tired. Uh, anyways, that's all I have for you. Um, I just, I know I just put up a video, but it was kind of a spur of the moment thing. And um, we got a lot of books for really cheap. And um, if you have a Dollar Tree near you, you should go check it out. Especially if you're a new homeschooling mom. Um, they have a lot of, like, school stuff, I mean, in most Dollar Trees, um, and so you could, um, easily start out by going somewhere like that or, um, other dollar, dollar stores and stuff. It's best to look at places like that first because you can find pretty good deals on workbooks and books to read and um, different school supplies and stuff like that. Um, so yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, my next video will probably be up Sunday or Monday. Um, we're going to Arizona in a couple days, so I'll be taking some video while I'm there, and then I'll have that up for you guys. Um, yeah, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and stick around. Um, if you already subscribed, give it a thumbs up and comment below. Let me know what you think. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know. And I will talk to you guys soon.